Intriguing indeed. Color me captivated by this one. This panel takes on the speed of light with an interesting thought experiment. It basically goes like this. Imagine we had a huge pair of scissors with blades one light year long. When closing them instantaneously, the vertex where the two blades meet would move faster than light. Now, when I say vertex, I'm referring to the contact point where the two blades of the scissors intersect as they close. If you were to take a normal pair of scissors and close them slowly, the contact point moves from where the scissors start cutting to the other end. If you close them really fast, the point will move even faster. One important thing to note is that the vertex is not a physical object. Therefore, there is no fundamental reason why it can't move faster than the speed of light, depending on how fast you close the scissors and the angle at which you do it. Especially with blades that are one light year long, that vertex point could theoretically move far beyond the speed of light. However, this is just a thought experiment. In the real world, there is something called rigidity of the material, and on such astronomical scale, nothing is rigid. In other words, if we had a pair of scissors that are really one light year long, no matter what they were made from, the blade simply wouldn't be rigid enough to close instantaneously. The moment we close the scissors, assuming we have the force to do so, they would literally bend starting from the near side and going to the far one. The force would propagate from atom to atom with the speed of sound, which is much inferior to the speed of light, and like that it would take at least one year for the tips of the blades to fully come together. So the vertex could never actually move faster than light in a real world scenario, no matter how fast you try to close the scissors. This thought experiment assumes the blades can be completely rigid and can be closed instantaneously. In reality, no material is that rigid, and information travel is always limited by the speed of light. 